Hello and welcome back to the Atlas Agency's continuing investigation of the Path to Carcosa cycle for Arkham Horror the Card Game. I'm your host Brandon and in this video I'll be sharing my spoiler-free first impressions of the second Mythos pack in the Carcosa cycle, The Unspeakable Oath. I'll open by saying I think this particular scenario is a little harder to do a spoiler-free discussion on. A lot of the things that are really noteworthy about this scenario get into spoiler territory. I'll do my best here, but this may be a little on the shorter side. So with Echoes of the Past, I was a little disappointed that the scenario seemed to kind of get off track from the tone and the themes that were established in the Carcosa Deluxe box. I'm happy to report that the Unspeakable Oath is completely back on track in that regard. This is a Carcosa scenario through and through. As far as the theming goes, The Unspeakable Oath is an A-plus scenario. It's set in the Arkham Asylum. I think Fantasy Flight put it well in their preview article, which opened with, quote, It was always going to come to this. You're finally headed to the Asylum. It does seem inevitable that this setting would get used in the game, but hats off to the designers for doing an excellent job of bringing this setting to life and for finding the perfect moment to do it in, in the perfect campaign for it. I think a trip to the Arkham Asylum in, say, the Dunwich Campaign wouldn't have had quite the same impact that it has here. If you're a player who really values theme over anything else, I think you're really going to like this scenario. A couple of things to call out. The act and agenda decks in this one do some great work, I think, in telling the scenario's story. The encounter deck is also great. Nothing in there feels out of place or added in to fill out the deck. I think every card in there supports the theme of the scenario. That includes the new cards that are specific to this scenario, and there's one in particular that I think people are going to find really memorable in this encounter set. While the theme is, I think, the strong point of this scenario, I have to say that the gameplay is pretty good as well. There are a handful of new tricks on display, just like you would expect in any scenario, but really there's nothing radical here. I just think everything works pretty well, and the gameplay does a good job of supporting the theme and the story. The balance feels good, at least in my experience, and I've enjoyed this scenario each time that I've played it. I know there are two elements of this one that are likely to be a little polarizing, one of them major and one fairly minor. I can only say that I personally wasn't bothered by either of them. This scenario does act as the midpoint in the Carcosa campaign. I think it serves pretty well as a mid-campaign climax. Back in Dunwich, that climax didn't come until Pack 3, Blood on the Altar. I think I compared Blood on the Altar to a mid-season TV finale. Unspeakable Oath has a similar feel. It's got similarly high stakes, and like Blood on the Altar, it leads into the mid-campaign interlude. We're also getting a setting change in Pack 3 as the campaign shifts to France, so this is the end of the Arkham chapter of Carcosa. That's been, uh, Echoes of the Past aside, a really strong run of scenarios. The Unspeakable Oath is a great finish to that chapter, and overall, I think this is one of the top adventures to be released for the game so far. As I said before, if you're a player who really values theme, then I think this is going to be the pack for you. And that actually will wrap us up for this look. For more Arkham content, you can check out the Atlas Agency blog at atlasofarkham.wordpress.com, and you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching, and good luck in your own investigations of the mythos.